with. Also and it's a great. band I would go see. <laughs> Hello, Seattle. We are Glass Buckshot. Wait, hey, hang on, hang on. Do it again. Hello, Hello Seattle. Seattle. We are. Yeah. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, lads, is no exception. We got a bunch of steamy stuff, man. Steam, Steam took a job. So we're going to talk about that in a second. And of course, we probably need to address the uh, Methesda thing that went down. But first and foremost, I'm old man Vin. I'm Vin Stone here to LGC Actual in beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel, conducting the nightmare train all under Linux each and every week, joined by the man of north, one Jordan's fun. Hello. Check him out. He's beautiful. He's glorious. So is his bass and staying up late past his bedtime. Next to Nicholas Cage, that is Pedro Mateus. And together with you at home, yeah. Shot Realm Dynamic, that last most greasy bit helping us for him. So Voltron. Hey, beautiful people. What's going on, man? Uh, we do like to see, we like to play catch up. And I want to catch up with Jordan because I know your ass was up at five o'clock this morning because I was driving into Atlanta and I just because I keep a tablet. Boop. Yeah. And I'm like, whoop. I'm like, what is Jordan doing up at five o'clock? And then what is <laughs> what is Jordan doing up at five o'clock? That's a good question. I think generally you can ask that and you won't be satisfied with the answer. Now, I, I, I got I had work stuff I needed to do this morning, so I ended up sleeping most of the day. It was kind of nice. I wish I was asleep right now. Mm hmm. <laughs> do tell me wait, wait, wake how you'd up, like Jordan. to be asleep right about now <laughs> um I'd, li I'd like to be in my bed with my weighted blanket and just like weighted. i like when you yeah. say weighted blanket i always imagine like it's got like lead shot and you're like ah, ah. It, 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 it's basically filled with buckshot <laughs> Gla glass buckshot is what it's it's stuff with also it's a great. band i would go see <laughs> Hello, Seattle. We are Glass Buckshot. Wait, hey, hang on, hang on. Do it again. Hello, Hello Seattle, Seattle. We are Glass, Glass Buckshot. Buckshot. There we go. That's more legit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Pedro. What's new with you, baby? Uh, I uh, I did uh, an order of a completely superfluous thing. It's a very overly designed case for the Raspberry Pi Four. It's uh, it's one of the Game Boy uh, cases that comes with the screen and everything else. The big difference is, instead of just having, like, the two buttons that the Game Boy did, it has six face buttons along with two um, shoulder buttons and an analog stick as you, well. You, you posted it, a picture it, in Discord earlier of that fever yeah. dream. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it reminds me as if, 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 like, John Carpenter's The Thing got its hands on a Game Boy and then, like, tried to reproduce it, and then, like, someone re realized that it was The Thing and it started mutating to attack. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's basically like playing Prey, the new one. Uh, I, you know what? I don't like the inky, squiggly thing mechanic in that. Man, I don't like attacking non corporeal things. Like ah, that that's all I do. Like when I wake up, I just attack non corporeal things. You mean after you fight your way up from all the glass buckshot? <laughs> exactly. Well, I would Could be in a rage too if it took that much work to get out from under the covers. So um, over here in Vinland, kind of like Jordan's hunting for a fifty seven hundred XT on eBay. My. Uh, we were talking in the pre-pre super shows. Go listen to that if you're a patron. Oh, shameless shilling. Uh, I'm looking for 2080 Ti because the internet was like fire cell. And they've just not gotten to the point. I mean, they're, 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 they went down. They were like starting to go down like 490, 491, somewhere in there. And they're back up to like 500. I'm like, ah. Yeah. Uh, old, old video cards are not as cheap as I want them to be. Yeah, I I want I, I want that twelve hundred dollar video card from two years ago at like mm, four hundred four hundred I could justify. Then again, I don't care about the gaming performance of the twenty eighty Ti. I just want one for rendering the shows and some other stuff. But I did make a new video this week, actually just yesterday uh, for Unreal Tournament ninety nine. There's a new patch out. I went looking on the internet, kids. There were like paragraphs and paragraphs of things you have to do to get it up and running nay in and out four minutes uh but more on that at 11 and just a heads up for everyone 
if you're watching this live, I don't know how long it's going to go, but I saw that Amazon effectively have a clearance on, if you have a threat wrapper, on the 2970WX. That thing is effectively like $300 off right now, but unfortunately that puts it like at $914 to where I'm like, nay. <laughs> Not yeah, yeah. May, 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 may be considered the 3900X. I, I, I've, I kind of felt like Sam in the I was like, you know, what, second breakfast. No, let's, let's wait for third clearance. And then, <laughs> then maybe we'll um, entertain <laughs> that. But it's definitely um, worth entertaining that as much as it is our horse. I mean, our horse is pretty cheap these days. No one's buying it, so we've had to slash prices and slash horse meat. It's the Steam Linux. And of course, oh, Steam hang on, is still hang on. doing I, their. Uh, before we get into that, Jordan, you got to reboot the uh, chatbot thingy. I got to reboot the chatbot. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently, it's not doing the forwards to. Uh, the discords or there the is. other way around but yeah the um steam has been doing uh their little labs experiments for a while now and well experiment 009 is the steam news hub uh and it's color- currently rolling out is that to like the 007 initial with a promotion yes okay. well, two promotions I thought, I, actually <laughs> I, I thought i thought that was 014 <laughs> Not yet, uh, but the um, no the the previous news hub was borderline useless because it sort of kind of relied on the developers to put the news there, so it was mostly just Valve uh, and Steam specific stuff. This is well, it's built on the same uh, sort of framework that they did with the Steam curators, but what they call news curators are external websites like your Kotaku's and your. Uh, PC gamers and uh, PC games Zen and the works rock paper shotgun um, the um, yeah no that it's you can't even trust developers to fill their repos correctly crow team during the first two hours of release of, of Sirius M4 they had nothing in their that's because they, that's they <laughs> want to drive people to stadia obviously yeah that, that's the end game oh what about amazon did you see amazon like looked at stadia and said that's a great idea let's do it too they, they, they looked at the switch pro controller like let's do that too but yeah they, well they looked around they rummaged in the, one of their amazon boxes like hey we can use one of these just file the uh, nintendo thing over yeah I, I i don't know do, do, do you fear some kind of feedback loop from this because like steam is reporting about steam from other websites talking about steam it seems, I don't, I don't know. It, it, it seems like it could be some sort of unholy Gaben Ouroboros of facts. As we unquote. say this non-ironically and probably the longest concurrently running Steam News segment of, yeah, quit taking our jobs. We got you, man. Just yeah. shut that whole thing down. Just- <laughs> I was just mad there's no Linux Gamecast on that curator hub. Come I'm on, guys. I'm quite happy about that. We don't do a lot of written content, so... I do more written now, content. With, with, yeah, with than, the subtitles, now we have all the written content. That's what we'll do. That's, <laughs> I, I will save the SRT and just put, paste it with the an open yeah. 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 CC transcript. It, 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 it's, it's just like straight up, is does Bruno Mars is gay level reporting? Like, <laughs> sure. <awesome. laughs> all right. Uh, let's talk about some other stuff that uh, I really don't know anything about. Neither do I, but I did a little bit of reading into it. So Steam has these community awards now. Essentially, you can you can write reviews. You can review the reviews. Key ipsos uh, custodius, ipsos custodius, right? Um, but yeah, you, you, you now have these like badges like magical unicorn and like st- static ball and treasure chest and brain that you can apply to reviews now. Um, and uh, I, I, I guess it's just more blinky shit, right? Like for the... there. Here's the thing. There are totally people that use Steam for its organizational capabilities. And I guess this mm-hmm. is catering to them, right? It's more mm-hmm. stuff. It's more themes. It's more profile animated stuff. If you, if this is what you want, if you want to pimp out your Steam page, then Valve is happy to cater to you. And that's basically what they're doing right now with this new uh, tier of community awards. Um Yeah, and that gets that gets you points, which you can then redeem on the point shop for more blinky shit. Oh, and yeah. the, and then the cycle continues. Man, baby, I was looking at this and that genuinely reads off like a list of stuff that, well, it's clearly a side of Steam I know precisely, Funk. 
and we're all about. But hey, man, I'm glad it's there. You know, different strokes for different horses. Um, I do know I have points, but solely because Valve reminds me of you have points every time I buy a game. Yeah, I have no yeah. idea <laughs> what these points can do. They're they're like trading cards. I have, I have a lot of trading cards. No idea what to do with them. But the, you 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 get you get like emojis for like chat and shit and backgrounds and mm -hmm. if you uh, turn like a complete set of cards into a badge, you also get like a background for your Steam profile, a you little can, you, emoji you, you, you type can, of thing for okay. Chat. Okay, so <laughs> after the consultation of my two colleagues here, I it sounds like I will continue to have points and cards. Correct. Yes. As, the as, point as will all of us. Is more of that. <laughs> uh, it's I, like I, it's, I noticed. <laughs> it, 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 I noticed one of the uh, screenshots that I took of Exanima mm -hmm. uh, got the uh, little brain uh, award because apparently that means uh, I made a really clever reference that I totally wasn't planning on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, man. It comes down to like the very basic thing. Like, do you, does anyone do you at home? Do you even use like the Steam chat thing? I realized this because I was creeping on my own profile. I'm like, right, we have a group, like a Steam users group for Linux Steamcast, mm -hmm. and we have 16 or 15 or 16 people in our group chat. Dude, we we yeah. have a subreddit. I accidentally <laughs> clicked on my Reddit messages. It's like you have an invitation to moderate our Linux Gamecast. Yeah. I'm like, what's in there? Three stories. Excellent. It was a it's a placeholder from years ago, but yes, yes, <laughs> I, I saw that because you know the universal symbol for you piss somebody off on the internet is that little mail thing on Reddit turning orange. Mm -hmm. and it's like shit, I'm gonna piss off this time. And it's like oh no, wow, when did I send that? Um, yeah, I'm like, I, that was morbid curiosity. I clicked on it, I was like, does this thing still even fucking work? Apparently it does. All right, it's thing. Uh, maybe one day, kids, maybe one day. Top releases of the August. Yeah, so uh, they're Valve, obviously, they uh, do a thing where they like to promote the people that did really well over the past month on Steam. And with the top releases this month, uh, the, um, mm, mm, the, mm, the Linux mm. entries were... Hold, uh, hold the fuck on. Remote play. Like, we were struck by how many of August re offer some level of remote play. It kind of just works, Valve, and you do not reward developers for not putting proper multiplayer in their game. Rawr. I think okay. Valve are pelting the, petting themselves on the back there. That that that's Sorry. literally all that is. <laughs> no, that that should say that should say. Hey, we're surprised by how many people are taking advantage of it. Bad, bad developed, bad. <laughs> that's all it should say. And uh, I am Vitega. Thanks for the follow. Uh, the no, uh, the Linux entries that I found for this month were the new releases were Undermine, Factorio, and Spirit Fairer. So all deserving, in my opinion. Those were absolutely very nice games. So very, very good job, especially Factorio. Seriously, <laughs> that game has been in development since forever. forever. So I'm really glad that uh, they actually got the top spot. That's amazing. So yeah, no, it, go have a look. There'll be a link in the show notes to the complete list. It's um, one of the games uh, I tried to play just before the show. It was a uh, Steam, uh, uh, not Steam. Um, yes, you tried to play the Steam game. I saw you. Quit, Bleach, quit, don't deny it. Brave Souls. <laughs> And Steam tried to install 12 You were trying uh, to collect Microsoft achievements. I know what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just surprised Frog Fraction's got a Game of the Decade edition. Me too. I I'm, saw that. I immediately went to it. And I think it's free. And But it's a Unity title, but it's Windows only. I'm like, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> when, 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 Windows and Mac. So if you want to learn how to solve fractions and you're on Linux... I don't give a point fuck, apparently. You use Proton? Uh, another game that's free to play, it's uh, recently just available on Steam, but it also came with Linux, is the uh, DD Race Network. Yeah, mm -hmm. That yes. made the list. I've tried to figure out what the hell that game is twice, and it defeated me on both occasions. <laughs> Se seems, seems, <laughs> seems legit. I think it's competitive Super Meat Boy. <laughs> Maybe. Sound <laughs> sounds about right. Gentlemen, <sighs> we have some game updates. I have six days to die now. Well, nineteen point one days. Uh, well, they 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 have a they have a alpha out now. The the new release. Uh, lots of ladder related fixes. Not alpha like, stable. Alpha because stable. Yeah, your definitions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there comes a point. There comes a point. 
when, when you, you just need to cut it and just call it a 1.0. Yeah, but so lo lo lots of ladder related fixes and not like competitive fixes, like the things you climb up and down on. Apparently mm. now now you can sidestep on ladders. That's that's thing. Um, they, they have a bunch of other fixes in here. Um, yeah, it's, it's just more fixes as they continue to chug along developing this thing that will never see release ever, ever, ever. <laughs> All right. that, and that, the game that, does that, not that, look like that unless you want to run it at 15 FPS. My face looks like that, that old lady. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm going to go out on a limb and this is not representative of, um, yeah, A, it looks yeah. like somebody <laughs> broke their HDR filter on this. Uh, and someone straight up lied with the screenshot and they didn't even bother getting in-game footage. They just had a dude out in the there, woods. There's okay, come on. Come on, lads. You can do better than this. Uh, this has been in development since 2013. This is, I think, our current rating champion for early access hell. $24.99. Mm, yep. And, um, you know, they, they've maintained a Linux version for quite some time. Which is good on them, but it has always run like dog shit. And yeah. I mean, playable dog shit, if you cut the graphics down. Then I, I think maybe maybe three or four months ago, I just, one of the last major um, updates, I tried it with Proton and it's like, oh, this, that, okay. Yeah. It's playable now. Yeah, and it looks relatively nice. I'm like, oh, that's a different looking game. Didn't look anything like those screenshots. And I didn't get to play <laughs> as a full motion cowboy. But not like a show a title. Full don't try it. Cowboy, <laughs> dun, dun, on the press X to mount horse on a. I don't know. Nope. I don't know. Left for Dead Two. Man, we got to ride the lighthouse. Last stand update is out. It launched Thursday. I think like maybe noon o'clock, one o'clock Eastern, and it's uh, currently eighty percent off. I think it's free for one day and seventeen hours if you're listening to it live. We're going to be rocking and rolling this in the after show. Um, not a whole lot to report. This is basically what was his last mission from um, Left 4 Dead 1, right? Yeah. That's it's been, bad. yeah, it's been remodeled. It's been updated. And I think there was a thousand total updates and fixes added to this, which is great for me. I didn't have any issues with it. Everything worked out of the box on Linux. Uh, nothing to play with. I think the only uh, issue you can run into is if your name is Jordan and you happen to own a mouse as a pointer device. Yeah, so I was thinking about that. So I think I disabled raw mouse input because that was a thing for the Steam controller okay. way back when. I think if, if, if memory serves, that's why I ticked that option off. But if you did that for whatever reason, definitely check your keyboard mouse options. Make sure you have raw mouse input enabled. Otherwise, you'll be able to select things in the menu, but you will not be able to look around in game. And it's very scary when you're coming off of a week of diagnosing a bunch of technical production issues and your brain just jumps to, oh shit, what now? What's fucked up right now? <laughs> you, everything, <laughs> name it. Yeah, that that was interesting because you you don't you you would resign your fate to off play with a Steam controller. Fine. Yeah, and then mm. I'm just like, wait, wait a second, hold on. Let me. Uh, uh, yeah. It didn't matter. We almost get through it. We almost we get to the very end. There's a uh, nice little video on the YouTube of our. There's there's attempt. there's a nice little fuck box involving multiple tanks after one I, of those honestly, fuel retrieval missions. I think yeah. we technically beat it, but we didn't know to get down the stairs and. We we just kind of so, stood there and fought off, fended off the zombicons until we all died. And we're like, ah, right, yeah. what were we supposed to do, you guys? Mm -hmm. Traditional left for Brad. Well, you, mm -hmm. you can see more of it in, in the after show. Mm -hmm. So, you know, stick around. You can participate in it, too, if you're so inclined. Yeah. Hey, we get to do a proper versus with it, so. Indeed. Yeah. Scott's been practicing so you hard. No, he has, man. <laughs> All right. Well, I saw our third in, in game. <laughs> Drone racing, you know, it's it's the thing that we all do in our spare times, right? Well, I no. thought better of it. I've almost bought a drone. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, there, there's a drone racing game lift off. Uh, they have a new release out. It's for uh, version 1.3.0, and they finally bit the bullet and upgraded to the newest version of Unity, which comes with all the fixes and performance improvements within. Wait, which what? Includes... I thought they'd get, we're going to add RGB drones. That's all they did? Vulcan? That's... Uh yeah. I want bleaky yeah. drones. <laughs> yeah. Boom. They, they, they added the uh, Vulcan render for Linux and the metal one for Mac. Uh, they also have some smarter AI for Ele forever alone races and some multiplayer fixes for the sometimes alone races. Hmm. 
I like this. I like the look of it. Uh, liftoff FPV, FPV, drone racing. It looks like it's incredibly well done, competently done too, on top yeah. of everything else. And really, like the the only complaints I could. It's twenty bucks, so I mean, it's not incredibly expensive. They finally added Russian woodpecker night fever environment. <laughs> I think, Excellent. I think we can all just that, that that's a band name yes sigh of relief that that got that unfortunately that came at the cost of um having the fat shark goggle animation removed so pour one out for your homie um the <laughs> goggle animation um also something something online multiplayer because yes. this this looks like it'd be fucking blast if we could go race around and uh crash constantly. no you see Steam Remote Play enables multiplayer for games that don't have multiplayer, right? Yeah, can you a racing game? That oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. look at that. It he, does he, say it how it has online PvP. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but that's probably online see, multiplayer. Nope. This, this, okay. he, this guy is clearly not doing it right. He should be on a bicycle. Yes, on a un, on a unicycle <laughs> with a VR headset. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Only playable with a game controller or remote. Single screen setups recommended. Integrated Intel HD graphics card not recommended. RX two sim is not. Sp- oh man, I had like six RX two sims the other Single day. Single screen setups. Are you saying it'll fuck up my other monitor if I attempt to start Devel- the game? <laughs> developed entirely in SDL one point two. Man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Listen, SDL two has surprises, but I'll talk about that in the news segment. All right, cool. Coming up next. Oh my God, my Master Chief slash Dovahkiin fan fiction is gonna finally be canon. And my God, is it sexy? You're gonna Dover hear it win. in the news Dover segment. Win. And Vince already giving it away with that yar there, motherfucker. Uh, you gave it away arr! on Wednesday, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes. asking scurvy dog you're going but to yes. walk the plank if you'd like to you uh, want, continue funding whatever. our uh, plundering misadventures plundering. you can absolutely do so and uh, Jordan will tell you exactly where you can do just that just don't plunder Stick horses around, <laughs> there you will can, be you news can, after that you can plunder our horses but that would make you more Mongolian than pirate I guess shiver I timbers know. not horses sh- 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 <laughs> shumble, shumble me tumbles shovel me tumbles as it were uh, check us out uh, you can uh, go to linuxgamecast.com put your mouse over the support button there's lots of options for you to support this nonsense we got paypal we got bitcoin we got affiliate links we got uh, Patreon, which you should definitely check out, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast, where becoming one of our illustrious patrons gets you the privilege. You're granted nay, three wishes. The, 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 I don't, I don't know, the, priv- the privilege of spending time in Discord with us. You can join our Discord channel. Maybe you can even get access to our show notes and you can watch the show congeal over the course of the week, make corrections, make suggestions, Such just yell at us. legendary messages is being up this early sucks. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're just a bunch of weirdos hanging out in Discord most of the time, so you can be weird with hey, us. Hey, we got IRC yep. and live chat. That's always open for anyone during live shows, because that's how we roll like that. You got to have an IRC. If you're doing things with Linux, you got to have an IRC channel, man. That, that's true. Yeah. Uh, we, got, we got a store, store.linuxgamecast.com. We have t-shirts, we got stickers, we got coffee mugs. No fanny packs. Stickers. No fanny packs yet, stickers. but soon. I'll stick you. Say fanny pack again, motherfucker. <laughs> fanny pack. <laughs> Good. Good boy. He did. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, I do what I'm told. I'm just following. Hey, orders. man. Uh, uh, we get a donation wait. at the end of the stream, or yeah, towards the end of the stream last week from a not mouse. Uh, Send in a PayPal Ooh. donation with a message, which I didn't get until like later. And I was like, oh, there's a message attached to this because we were in the after shows. And, and they write, Holding on to Linux as so many techie simps. That's right, techie simps. Switch to Mac, smiley face, hold, much hold, love, hold, hearty emoji. Hold, hold on, let me, let me give you some cleavage because you're apparently a Linux simp. We love you. <laughs> you know what? I did button this shirt up an extra button because I was going around the house, man. I'm like, rah, showing off my... Yeah, and I was like, you know what? That's throwing off the hey, white balance. Hey, big spender. Oh, uh, we, 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 got, uh, we got wish lists. Uh, oh, yeah. The links to all of which are at, under the support menu on support.linksteamcast.com. If you buy Ven some stuff, you get your name on the very hard-to-read panel behind him. What do you mean hard-to-read? I can read that. 
You can and no one else. Listen, at no time did I say I could read all of it. I said I could read it. <laughs> you can read the runes. The chevrons are encoding. The chevron. We, we we also got to thank uh, Mike G. He sent us some hooks. Yeah, Yar. He sent uh, me some hooks. <laughs> Uh, it's the supposedly for exercise hooks, but of course, if you send us something, you get also, uh, well, you get us to read whatever message you send us. Literally anything that won't let me in jail. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Mike G writes, use this for weightlifting or for groceries. Thanks for the contribution to the Linux community. How dare you, Mike G. Thank you. Can, 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 <laughs> can we just get like... Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, though. Can we get Can we get like video footage of Pedro like trying to max out his deadlift with no, that no, 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 no. No, I, I want to see... The next time a movie opens with an establish something shot in London, all, all of you fuckers are guilty of this with an establishing shot of the shard. I want to see Pedro halfway up it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just like fucking Spider Man up the fucking it's, tower. It's, it's just a little fucking dot going up. Okay. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Turns no, out no. carrying Sweet. like ten kilos worth of groceries with this. A heck of a lot easier than just my nubbin. <laughs> so, so, someone please send Pedro a very cheaply made Spider-Man costume. Or a cape. <laughs> a Spider-Man costume with a cape. Spider cape. <laughs> just, we, 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 we gotta make this happen. All right, all right, so big, big news this week. Microsoft has bought Bethesda Yay. Skyrim for Xbox. Skyrim is confirmed not Skybox. to be coming to the yeah. PlayStation 5. And Bethesda, of course, is why Microsoft is the perfect fit, because they gave us $7.5 billion. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, when the, when the news came out, um, uh, there's a, an article by Pete Hines here, and uh, yeah, they're basically saying, they gave us a shit ton of money, and yeah, <laughs> we, we couldn't say no, and... Twitter lost its collective shit uh, at that point, and then there were a bunch of Linux YouTubers that saw the news and saw the $7.5 billion and decided, you know what, I can probably make some money by spreading some FUD. And they decided, oh yeah, no, uh, Linux gaming is doomed now mm -hmm. that uh, Microsoft bought Bethesda. This man, I heard that Linux gaming what? is like three doomed. <laughs> Well, I, I, I mean, that's that's the problem. You're not going to be able to play Doom on Linux anymore Man, because Microsoft owns it. My only contribution to like the internet <laughs> internet panic was it's like, can you imagine? Can you imagine this, if you will, um, being the poor bastard intern that drew the shortest of straws and you're like, eh, whoa, what, what? Yeah, you need to go take that to Id and. Tell them to uh, curb stomp Vulcan and that DX12 is the future for all their titles. I, I mean, <laughs> honestly, they could probably give them another 1.5 billion and they'd be like, you know what? Vulcan is garbage. DirectX 12 is the future. There's going to be a lot of training, though. <laughs> like, uh, all jokes aside, they have no, exp I mean, I, like, I think they have one game that has DX 11 or 12 support. Maybe. What would, what would be hilarious is if they were using something like uh, DX uh, or VK D3D or whatever mm -hmm. to, like, mm -hmm. do, do their bulk of their work in Vulcan, but then only support DirectX 12 <laughs> on so, release. Reverse VK D3D. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, Pedro, I saw a bunch of... Um, well, particularly one, I, I saw the thumbnail for it. It was like, why this is killing, going to kill Linux. All right, first off, Bethesda and Microsoft have both published Linux titles. You know, say, yeah. Yeah. And honestly, as far as publishers go, Microsoft has been pretty good because they're fairly hands off. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like, my, are you making a game? Are you making us money? Okay, here's more money. Yeah. My, <laughs> yeah, Microsoft's <laughs> definitely on this part of Microsoft has adapted the... Um, Whatever makes us most money, let's spread the love around where we can get the, you know. But then again, there is something to be said because, hey, by the way, they make their own console and part of consoles, like, is exclusive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, the, that. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the next Fallout was a timed um, Xbox exclusive. It's I, going I, to piss a lot of people off, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. I would I would be surprised <laughs> if the only change is that the uh, Bethesda games from here on in are just being shipped as UWPs so that you can't run them in wine. I'm pretty sure that won't take very long either. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just going to use my Windows XP source code and hack it. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, th I, th I thought you were going to use your Windows 10 tablet to play Doom. If sure. that includes the NT kernel source code, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, no, man. Um, I think this is just... Uh, this is the new norm, man. I mean, everybody's numbing everyone. Um, this is not going to yes. fuck all to do with Linux. Never did. No. Never will. And like every single argument, even in our Discord, there were a bunch of people who were buying into the arguments of like uh, Chris Titus Tech uh, channel uh, saying, oh, but they bought like a studio that was actively developing in Vulcan. One studio, mm -hmm. one engine, it tech six. Listen, it Pedro, hasn't supported Pedro, Linux Pedro, since would you it tech four. Listen, man, I'm trying to work <laughs> on a title for my new video. You need to just shut up. Okay, this is going to doom <laughs> Linux gaming. Okay, How? okay and for the screenshot, look like you have a headache. Uh, possibly. I don't know if you can sell that or not. But you know what? Here, here's your Emmy anyway. Daytime Emmy. You know, you, you, Nighttime you, you, Emmy. You, 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 need, you, need the, you need the two hands. Oh, possibly. And you need <laughs> yeah. the white outline, a preferably pink or yellow, possibly blue <laughs> pastel background. Yes. And or like really magenta. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's it's, 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 it's got to be the contrast. Blue and orange, man. Blue and I, orange. Okay. Here's a little inside baseball. I shit you not. Um, just to get it to go off my damn um, like YouTube creator screen for a Linux game. YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I finally took like the creator's boot camp. YouTube has no shame. They're straight up like, yo, with that thumbnail, make it pop, yo. You know, <laughs> get a headache, put some colors in the background. Yeah, that, that that's, certainly that's explains what... why everyone has a headache when they do YouTube thumbnails. That, yeah. that certainly explains why I keep finding videos that don't seem to be the thing I'm trying to watch because all the thumbnails look the fucking same. <laughs> Uh, so, um, some, some good news this week. Um, Speaking actually, game developers, news. yeah. Yeah, uh, so, you might have heard about that whole Lab Zero meltdown where everyone left because their, uh, person in charge was a giant, complete, total dickhole. And so, a bunch of former Skullgirls people have, uh, started a new studio, uh, called Future Club. It's interesting, too, because they set this up as a co-op, so Lab everyone Zero is... Lab Zero is the name you were looking for. Lab Zero is. Um... But yeah, Future, Future Club is the new uh, is the new organization. It's structured as a co-op, so everyone who works there is in part an owner, which is definitely an interesting response to the whole, we had one big guy at the top who was making life miserable. Now everyone's accountable to everyone else. Theoretically, we'll see how that actually comes out. But um, yeah, they're, they're going to start working on some new games. We haven't heard about what's coming out of them. Hopefully, they still support Linux. Hopefully, they, they drag Civic kicking and screaming and be like, yo. I hope so. Some Linux <laughs> we need the one Linux volunteer and i honestly good job amazing i want most more uh skullgirlsy type of games uh because the artwork on that game was spectacular and i like fighting games so get cracking it's gonna be interesting uh didn't more, like some more of the, hentai um, fighting games got it original Tentacle hentai fighting games, thank you very much. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, giant humanoid vacuum cleaner type human beings that were part yes. instrument. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's She's gone from bands, suck to literally. blow. Yeah, big band, man. Uh, yeah. Didn't one of the Blizzard people that just had like fuck you money start, just recently start his own um, studio because they were pissed off at like Blizzard? That, so that mean, sounds like something, but... I, I, that I, I, sounds I, I, like the people who created Diablo creating, um... What was Runic. the Torchlight developer? R Runic. Runic, yes. R Bless you. <laughs> Runic right. Games, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's good news. Uh, they're trying to get their band back together and um, wish them the best of luck, man. I do. Yep. Indeed. Um, op open source Minecraft. There's many, 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 many options for it. This one, uh, oh, and you better be careful which ones you talk about or you get nasty messages. <laughs> in, in, indeed. Uh, th uh, th this one doesn't get you too many nasty messages. Terrasology. Um, they have a big update. It's uh, version 4.0.0.0. Um, it benefited a lot from the Google Summer of Code Contributors. So if you were a GSOC person, you know, thanks a lot. Um, the release notes do indicate that it's not really the most stable release they're in the process of a couple of major overhauls uh but it's definitely a project to consider if you don't want to sign up for a microsoft account if you want to log into minecraft hmm. to be fair you don't need a microsoft account uh <laughs> if you bought the game before it was bought by microsoft 
You Pedro, could, could Pedro we have to continue account? the fund. We have yeah. to continue the fund, or else we're not going to get the YouTube views. And how else am I going to meet PewDiePie? There are worse life goals to have, I suppose. I don't know. What's a PewDiePie? <laughs> <laughs> is it flammable i mean technically yes okay i'm in um, the second most subscribed to channel on youtube this thing's been around for a long time and it does require java man i mean it's old school like that this is none of those uh, like c plus fanciness now nah, it's old school java it looks the part it looks nice and uh, a lot of people play it so mm -hmm. yeah go for it do your thing man it's open source. Help out if you can. But speaking of open source, Amnesia, oh, yes. the dark descent. <laughs> this is not the first time Frictional has uh, dropped some source all over your face, chest, and neck. Nay! I think this is the second, third time. But here is everything you need to build Amnesia, the dark descent, included in the project files for Visual Studio 2010 and CMake for Linux and Mac OS. Remember when you could play games on Mac? Huh. Um, <laughs> It's there. I did uh, my part for the community. I was like, all right, let's crack open a copy of Adam. All right, pull this thing in. Started searching for Fock, shit, and everything. A couple of, couple of good ones on Fock. Uh, didn't find too much on shit, but it's in there. Um, but, you know, that, it just has to be done with any source release for a game engine, especially. Right, <laughs> yes. right. The, 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 the other thing to go through is if they, if they have an old copy of the commit log to see how many, mm -hmm. just like, how the fuck does this shit work? Reverting, mm -hmm. reverting again. <laughs> or what now the fuck is this? Like, I run it. Most of the fucks were for the pigs. <laughs> mm. Pig the wonder, fuckers, got the, it. The, the, the game breaking pigs, yes. <laughs> oh, the Chinese room were uh, a bit salty, I guess. <laughs> but the no, I actually I tried to build it because Frictional has done nothing but good as far as I'm concerned ever since they started bringing their games to Linux, and they released the Penumbra source code a while back, and now they've released the Amnesia source code. And okay, let's down download the Git repo, try to build it. I got to the make bit and it failed because of some C++ error about comparing strings to chars and how you couldn't do that. So I'm guessing whatever version of C++ they built this in originally is not ABI compatible with the current one. So. Well, give uh, welcome to Linux. Give it a week. <laughs> I'm yeah. being generous. <laughs> Yeah, probably someone's already um, created a patch. It's probably one of the pull requests, which they have a few, so. And for the love of flying spaghetti monster, can someone just, just once throw old man Vin mod a gun into one of these games where I can just go, you know oh. what, I'm tired of running. Hey, monster, what? Fuck you. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what would also be a cool, fun mod is if Proton you make packs. it multiple. That that and multiplayer makes let someone play as the pig monster or the, the spooky uh, amnesia ghost. I would play as a rock. <laughs> You can totally do that in and, Rock Simulator. No, a lobster rock. Am amnesia, the rock descent. <laughs> Dwayne, starring jo Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> starring yeah, Dwayne, the rock. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Admit it, we played stranger shit than that. Yeah, right. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson Simulator 2020. Dude, speaking of like strange, I know this is all script, but uh, Vangers. Vangers, Vangers. An There's update. an update coming. Yeah. Uh, that's the ah. reason I didn't put it in the notes because it's not there yet. No. But uh, yeah, they have that, 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 uh, that 12, an 22 year old game coming. Yeah. 1998, yeah. bitch. <laughs> Talk about like digging up your source code and you're like, all right, let's get this working 20 years later. Good on them. But, still get, yeah. They, they they do that with old like mainframe games like the the old adventure and whatnot. That's all that's all really cool when they like bring those old games yeah. that existed on like tape drives on oh, yeah. college university that, mainframes. That's like a brilliant. I mean, it, it's just in the tradition. It was like the guy who pointed uh, ported a, a cave adventure game to the quantum computer. And it's like, yeah, hey, this this one requires at least a three qubit. It's like, yes, I love reading shit like that in the system requirements. <laughs> yep. Um, what the hell is an Azure non? Spider pad, Azeron spider, spider pad. pad. Yes, it's uh, it's a game pad. It's one of those things that you buy instead of getting a that controller. It looks like somebody fucked Kermit Ops. All that looks like. It looks Imagine like one of those things you like put your hand in there, <laughs> and and like it closes in on you like Hellraiser. Okay, here's a real talker. Somebody just set that on a fucking desk for me. So put your hand in there and tell them to go fuck themselves. 
Like, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, yeah, you know, you put your hand in there, and then they come up behind you with the fucking gum jabar, and they're like, I'm going to poison you if you take your hand out. <laughs> but yeah, it's a gamepad. Uh, Razer makes a bunch of those. It's basically like a one handed controller, and you have different actions for if you move your finger up or you move your finger down, and you do have an analog stick that kind of stuff this one is completely open source you can just grab the files 3d print them boom you're good to go for under 35 dollars you can build yourself Billy, what a- are you making in your room a friend mother <laughs> no you it's well, totally well, no, not no, a you, jerk buddy but <laughs> no you just slap your mom with it after it's assembled because it's already a giant hand <laughs> and as you know someone who is uh, otherwise compromised when it comes to their hands i looked at that i'm like yes oh god yes please uh someone do something like this and actually that one has three actions it's the bottom uh the top and the actual press down on the thing so that's amazing but i noticed two things missing there needs right. to be a D-pad b- below where the, uh, well, not below, but behind where the analog stick is so that you could have a D-pad and then move to the analog stick for analog movement and a um, an optical sensor. like So you could use that as a mouse because there's clearly a room for that. Just... Yeah, no, dude, please. Uh, optical sensor, you could use it as a mouse, and then you started a game, and it would act as a game controller. Yes, well, get, get, please. Get, get, on, get on that, Pedro. <laughs> Do you know what I saw that was missing? <laughs> Muffin button? Do you know that I saw two things that were missing? <laughs> the Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, no, that's the review. <laughs> no, definitely a muffin button. Also, bottle opener. Mmm. Or, or or a cigarette lighter or a cigarette holder. So you can... <laughs> yes, yeah. I suppose it could also make coffee, but no, th- I think both the D-pad and the optical sensor How are... hard is it to 3D print a Do bong? <laughs> not, not very. You can make one out of an apple, so... It's a bowl, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be the homer of game controllers when we're done with it. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. With, with a soundproof bubble for your children so yes. that you don't have to listen to them. <laughs> Oh, man. man, hey, blast from the past. This dropped this week. Unreal Tournament patches came out of nowhere, and they're like, yo, check this out. We got a hot new version 469A. Nice. Yeah, look, tons of fixes, game client fixes, some cheaty stuff fixes, server fixes, Unreal Editor fixers. Hey, do you know what? It runs on fuck mothering SDL2 now. And I was like, oh shit, that's the thing. Got to play around with it. Net code updates, um, audio and 3D rendering fixes, and all this. And you're running hard, get it up and running. Made a little video. Go check it out, langsgamecast.com. In and out in under four minutes. Uh, now, to be honest, this will require you to have the Steam version or just spend $9.99 and buy it. And I know you're like, but Vin, I have 16 Unreal. I do too. I was a child of the 90s. They, it came with everything. <laughs> I never bought the game and I legitimately in this house have six copies. I wouldn't found them. But I don't have a CD player in any PC. Or, to, or a floppy drive. Uh, or, dude, yeah. I'm just like, uh, okay, so fuck it. I'll just, it's a piece of cake. It's doable. We played uh, quite a bit last night, but yes, the SDL2, do, SDL2, do, goodness, it's there. Now, if you don't want to, do, if you just don't want to do anything, you can just drag this into your existing uh, installation. Play with Proton; that also works. Um, but the existing guides for getting Unreal Tournament UT99 or UTG Goat version up and running under Linux, like paragraphs after paragraph, because that's all for like this ancient Loki installer, which I originally used uh, twenty years ago. Don't fuck with that. Just get use the Steam I, version; it's easier. But it's I, I dragging- mean, if 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 you're gonna if you're gonna use the Loki version, they did give you a compile option to specify what folder you're sticking it in. So that's nice. Drag and drop, kids, and play. Um, <laughs> it's too it's too easy. <laughs> yeah. Linux is supposed to be hard, you guys. Right. You need you 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 can't use Linux without you opening up a terminal. So now things can you, be really easy when you don't have a register. Here's a bug. About. Here's a bug that I <laughs> confirmed um, and a couple of others in Shant Realm uh, earlier this week is if you tap that full screen button buckle up kids you got an adventure because those your first clues would your other two monitors go blank and you're like ah shit here we go um not this shit again and yes then your primary monitor 
you know what? Uh, like 640, I didn't even know my monitor could do that. Turns out it, it can. It, it, it can. It, it, looks, it looks about Have what you expect. Have you ever seen 640 at 42 inches? It's a I've seen it at, I've seen it at 32 it's inches. Like, oh, it's, it's already a pretty pixel. bad. Okay. It's about yay big, but it's a pixel. Yeah. Nah. It was like, I didn't even try to fight it, man. I had two Blake monitors and one Blake. It's like, you know what? We're TTY, baby. Um, what, what, one, one thing they did add to this release that I think is hilarious is they finally fixed copy and paste under Linux. So you can copy paste Unicode now. So I, want, I wonder now if uh, you can spam emojis in Unreal Chat. Mm hmm. They probably wouldn't render them properly, but <laughs> we got to give a big thanks to uh, Mr. Alert. He fired up a server for us last night, and we got to play around in it, and didn't have any issues. It was great. And nice. old times, they had the bumping soundtrack that just like fuck. Now we want to go watch the Matrix for some reason because <laughs> it's so. I mean, the whole, everything about UT ninety nine is fucking edge lord nineties, dude. Nineties tastic, yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> All about it, all about it. All the voice samples, the music, and taunts. It's brilliant. It's piece history with a very active player base. Indeed. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> all right. Coming up next, we put on our pointy caps and we flagellate ourselves, and then we sit down and we play Blasphemous. Welcome back to the Chair Acquisition. This is where we throw some chairs at games, test them on a couple of distributions, and tell us tell you guys what we think about them. Uh, this week we're taking a look at Blasphemous. Um, it's by the Game Kitchen, done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about twenty four bucks US. What is it? Blasphemous is a brutal action platformer with brutal. skill hack and slash. It's combat set in the nightmare world of custodia um, or custodia I'm not sure explore upgrade your abilities perform savage executions on the hordes of enemies that stand between you and your quest to break eternal damnation man Pedro's this is like the reversal of fortune because Pedro's been like reviewing games better or like with higher scores than everyone else so he gets to go first all the time now yeah I know so. that's a strict He's like, I get to talk first if I really like it. I'm usually the one who gives games the most chairs, yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, and, and anyways, start talking. Yes. So over here on uh, KDE Neon with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, it did launch out of the box. And since I was already playing this game before the Linux version was out proper... I went to dot .config, I went to the Unity 3D folder, and I deleted the... Um, the blasphemous folder just to be sure that i was getting the actual experience and yes it ran out of the box it absolutely refuses to do 144 ferps we've seen unity games that do this every that's now and not then. a problem for this game all of a sudden <laughs> it is a problem i would very much have liked to have uh, 144 ferps but whether or not you have v-sync it seems to cap out at 61 <laughs> fps i i yeah, the DualShock 4, it worked out of the box, no Steam input needed. Uh, it makes very subtle use of the vibrations, almost like the haptic feedback that you get on the Steam controller. For most of the game, it's just like very slight rumbles when you hit something or when something hits you. The one time I noticed it going overboard is, uh, you see those swinging sensors there if you were watching the video version? Um, there's a room that has a giant one of those that swings from one side of the room to the other that makes the dual shock go a little bit overboard uh, because it makes uh, it gets progressively rumblier and rumblier as the sensor swings closer and then starts to phase out as it swings away but really the star of the show in this game besides the aesthetic which is absolutely amazing is quit attacking the, music. the flying spaghetti monster <laughs> no, it's blasphemous. No, the, um, the music is amazing. Seriously, Carlos Viola, he did an awesome job when it came to the soundtrack of this game. And yeah, no, some of the boss fights, like the uh, Exposito boss fight, it's amazing. Uh, as for the fun, well... I didn't actually beat the game until it came out on Linux, but it has officially been released on Linux. So, yeah, I finished it. And if, again, if you're looking at the video version, that's actually a pretty late game. Uh, the It's a damn good game. It looks like just the early game with more movie shit. 
<laughs> oh, it, yeah, no, uh, it's not actually like the final bits of the game, but w- once you get there, it gets very uh, pretty for the like the background uh, visuals. But yeah, if you like Symphony of the Night, this is very much more of that with an extra dose of Catholic guilt, because the whole game is about guilt. The miracle is born from guilt, the guilt of a specific lady who uh, was banging her chest with a statue because she wanted to be punished because she felt very guilty. And then that statue became the sword that your main character wields, mea culpa. And yeah, the whole game basically spins from there uh, because the miracle that happens from then uh, is, well, <laughs> a Christmas miracle. God bless it, us, everyone. It basically uh, makes everyone's guilt in the world of Custodia a reality. And whatever you feel guilty about, it starts happening to you. And yeah, that that's like the whole premise behind the game. And if you've played Hollow Knight, you know exactly what you're in for here. This is very much that, but without the cutesy bug aesthetic. The rosary beads are the charms, the relics are the exploration items and the exploration abilities, the hearts of the mea culpa are the uh, nail upgrades, and the prayers are the spells. Uh, both of these games very much follow the Symphony of the Night style of Metroidvania. Big emphasis on the Vania there, obviously. Uh, and yeah, no, very much like Hollow Knight, I very much enjoyed Blasphemous. Go figure. Heck, uh, since I finished the game now, I probably will end up playing through New Game Plus so I can actually fight the, uh, the DLC bosses. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I suppose I should give it chairs, right? <laughs> well, chairs. I mean, you took fucking five minutes to get to this point. You might as well put a bow on it. <laughs> he, you know, no, he, he, he petered out. He's out of gas now. He's just like, yep. <laughs> All right. On uh, Fedora 32, 64-bit with the R9 3700. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it's been three weeks already. It's 3900X. I was about to say 3700K, but that's not even a real processor. Shut up. Um... 3900X with the GTX 1080 Ti. Yeah, it launches out of the box, holds 60 the usual. Uh, if you keep Steam input on by default, like I do, then you won't have any problems, but you won't have any DualShock prompts either, sad face. Uh, the pixel art's super clear, no character blindness. Um, yeah, ev- everything from a technical standpoint is real good with this game. Uh, fun-wise, I mean, so at first I thought this was going to be another one of those hard action platformer Metroidvanias that borrows more than a few pages from the Dark Souls playbook. And I mean, I was right. I mean, what I was wrong about was how much I'd actually enjoy it. Usually I don't like these types of games, but I mean, yeah, sure, it's hard and you die a bunch, but like you get real good at speedrunning areas as a consequence because you don't have to actually go through the fights. And uh, because it's your mana that you need to collect and not your currency, uh, it's, you know, if, if you die, you don't have to go and risk risk it for the biscuit just to get all your stuff back. You can just build up magic later. Um, the uh, exploring is really fun. I, I quite enjoy it. But a lot of it is just, like, rush to the next save point. So now I can actually explore without fear of getting murderized. Um, the maps are, like, super well jacquade. Uh, there are shortcuts. There are uh, things that link together. It's real fun. You can sort of see how the whole map comes together. And it feels really rewarding to explore everything fully. Um, I also got to give huge props to the art directions. It's art uh, art direction and production design all really really good all the enemies look like a freaking vatican acid trip and i am here for it i will say though having uh having experienced uh jewish guilt growing up uh catholic guilt does not hold a candle to it so i can only give it three chairs well there's nothing wrong with people who carry around their religion like a burden um so check it out over here in Vinland, running on the 1920X thread ripping system with a 2060 displayed at UHD. Well, the first thing I noticed is you better have Steam input per game enabled, or you're going to have just a very odd time, because this game could not decide whether or not my DualShock, my Dual Spock, was in fact a PlayStation or Xbox device. I just gave up. I just went with whatever it had at the time. Now, I only had one bug. Did either of you run into this? Where you get killed to death, this happens in the game, and it goes to, you have died, and the game starts, you know, it respawns you back. Well, that, you have died areas of a screen stayed there while I was clearly able to jump around and move. 
No, never did run into that. Mm. No. I, I, I found a bunch of bugs during the beta, but not that one. Okay. Well, I was already pissed off. Anyway, it runs at 60 at 30, 40 by 2160 displayed on the box. No problems there. It's hipster pixable. Look at that shit. It's well done. You got to like it. Um, my first thoughts with this, well, this is a 100% Pedro Mateus game. Just immediately. It's like, it looks the part. It does the thing. And, you know... I, I wrote myself a little note in the fun section, like right when I started playing it, probably 30 minutes in, I said, right now, I'm at the play until a baddie lands a cheap shot, knocking me to my death phase of the game. Turns out that's pretty much most of the game, man. Um, I really should start uh, by saying I've been playing a lot of Not Hollow Knight 2, the sequel to Not Hollow Knight 1. And with that game, there's a bunch of fast-paced combat movement, that fluid animation. That shit might have just spoiled me just a little bit, man. You know, but with this, I like the pixels. I enjoy the Catholic theme. Again, carrying around a religion like a burden. I can dig that. And the music, you know what? The music, it's a bit of all right. A little disconnected with what's going on in the game, but you can still jam out to the soundtrack. But when the game itself, man, I can't be alone, but it was just the movement. The pacing is so damn slow. Now, mind you, I'm not talking about the performance. The performance is fine. It runs swimmingly. You can probably run this on your calculator. Um, it's just the gameplay. You know, like Dark Souls, man, I don't find these types of games particularly challenging or difficult. Like, not even in the slightest, man. I get the appeal of them, though. So, we're still cool. We can still go over to each other's house and play Sonic the Hedgehog. Not a problem. All the challenge is going to come from those cheap hits, your stun locks, and that knockback system that made me laugh out loud, even though I was dying to my death on more than one occasion. Man, that stuff is a little bit brutal. But, check this out. I mean, if you can, like, just sit around, boop, take out a character, and uh, wait some more, maybe boop it again, you're not going to run into too much of a challenge. It's got some platforming in it. The controls are tight. No problem. You do learn how to speed run this game. No, Jordan gave that a mention. So did I, because I was way far away, right? When I get killed to death by a cheap shot, Pedro, that knocked me off a ledge and I fell and I died. I was no more. I was very sad. But I had to get all the way back there to recover. So I got very... Uh, into the story. I died again trying to get there again. So I, you can jump over pretty much anything in this game. It's not going to be a problem, but check this out. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, um, if you're looking for challenging Metroidvania, I'm going to say stick with Hollow Knight or maybe play not Hollow Knight 2. I don't know about not Hollow Knight 1. I'm talking about Ori, if you're wondering. Uh, at $24.99, all I can say is, you know, pick it up if you're a fan of the artwork, if you're a fan of the theme. And, uh, you have some time to kill between boops because when it comes to a game, I think this makes a better album cover than it does for a game for me. But I can still say, check it out. Two solid shares. All right. Yeah, you got any final thoughts? Pedro, I know you got opinions at the wazoo. A little so. bit. I do, and uh, to counter a little bit of uh, Ven's point, uh, I'm glad he brought it up uh, just as I was getting hit a lot by those flying things. And the game is actually very forgiving with keeping you on the platforms when you get hit. To a unless point. you're unless you're jumping, if if they catch you it, while yeah. you're jumping, if you're then jumping you, then or you're right at the edge where you can get basically pushed. That's that like saying you that have the good type of off. cancer. <laughs> I'm just saying the game is actually very forgiving in that respect. Uh, the, the There are games that we've thrown shares at that have not been. Uh, but no, I this is, yeah, to your, uh, to your other point, yeah, this is absolutely my kind of game. I love it. It's, the, the visuals are amazing. The music is absolutely. I like the music. I yeah, like the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like this theme of it, man. I mean, it. yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. But yeah, the, the, the game the, the itself is just a little too plotting for me. I don't know. Like, I'm, I, I don't think combat needs to be like always super fast paced. I, I kind of like the slower paced combat a little bit because it gives you an opportunity to parry. It gives you, it, it, it lets you do the calculus of, okay, do I want to get over here? Do I want to position myself as opposed to just trying to whip around a bunch and hope for, for me, the best. For me, I like that challenge while I'm having to jump, maybe bank another shot with another guy coming up. 
that that gets me when I'm like in the borderline bullet hell area. Then I'm like, ooh, all right, I like this. Yeah, th- this yeah, this is there's not too much I find bullet hell in this, uh, but it it also takes like a big page from like OG Castlevania with the enemy placement. Yep. So I think that the the the, the, the slow the slow combat is a very deliberate nod to that. So right. I, don't, I don't mind I don't mind it too much. Huh? Um, but if you if you want fast combat, then yeah, this game is definitely not for you. Um, all right, so coming up next, we're going to talk more about Unreal Tournament 99. And yeah, yeah, yeah. you guys know about any Linux gaming podcasts? Nope, never heard of them. No. I don't know about you, but I could actually go for a cheeseburger right about now. Because that that wasn't a necessarily long show, but it was certainly packed. Packed with, full with, of... Oh, it's still going. With, okay. with, with, with peanuts? Uh, <laughs> ignore whatever is happening there uh the (laughs) uh if you'd like to get in touch with us and if you'd like to let us know just how much you're ignoring us during the week please feel free to do so go to loosegamecast.com no yes and hit the contact button then uh, if you're a game developer and you decided you know what what would be a good thing let's give those people uh our space ass space ass would be a good thing (laughs) <laughs> space ass 2 colonel kurtz's revenge but yeah uh, if you if you'd like to you know give us your game to have a look at please be sure to include at least three steam keys or a build that we can share or at least one space ass uh, yes no you, we need we need two ass. space asses I, I i i have enough space ass these two these two need some space ass we do need uh, some space. My ass is uh, spacious enough as it is. Don't ask no, me it's how not. I know that. <laughs> it, it, it's it's not. It's not. I tried to stuff like a, bishop, a pack of gum an and a roll bishop. of quarters, an entire bishop finger up there, and it did not fit. Do not tell me about your spacious bum. Tell us about UT ninety nine instead. Sure, I'll, I'll I'll talk to you about Unreal 1999. <laughs> uh, this is from Vigilant Viking. Uh, they say, this is the one game I've played over the years that never stopped. I've been playing with the same two dudes for 20 years on Aww. this game. Aww. We aren't even from the same countries either. Buying this game is how I heard about Linux because it was in the Linux section at Compusa. What? Somebody, okay, we found the Compusa. legendary person that actually <laughs> bought a copy. <laughs> Man, yes. <laughs> here's a real question. Um, I don't think Jordan's old enough. Uh, did you ever play UT99? Yeah, back in the day, a lot. <laughs> I, I I started I started on 2004. That was the first Unreal I was playing seriously. I mm. played a lot of uh, 2003 and 2004 as well. Yep. <laughs> did you play the uh, original Unreal? No, pre pre tournament. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One thing that always impressed me was the software render for that game. It was workable. You could run it up yeah. anything. Yeah, <laughs> like I mean, it was clearly software render, but it was completely playable. <laughs> yep, that was uh, yeah. I agree with Scott. It, it was great back in the day because you know, I'm just saying your work PC didn't have a 3D accelerator that, but it did have networking. Yeah, no, Make my mom's PC certainly didn't have the uh, graphics card <laughs> to run the original Unreal, but yeah, no, that software rendering worked very, so very well. Here's a, here's a question, Jordan. Outside of, like, because uh, I, I could see, like, a D&D game going on for a few decades. Is there any, like, digital game that you've been playing with, like, a certain group? Like, not uh, us? Left 4 Dead, actually. Really? Yeah, like I, uh, the, I used to, I used to Left 4 Dead and Serious Sam. I've been playing, I've been playing Serious Sam with like the same guy for like when, whenever a new one comes out, we like sit down and go through it. Um, yeah, and I've known him since high school, so it's been mm. yeah, close to close to twenty years now. Pedro, Never Winter Nights, the OG Never Winter Nights, because the people that uh, you know that I used to play online with back in the day. And uh, still do. Uh, no, uh, they like the server host just outright refuses to create an enhanced edition version. Uh, so I have to keep the <laughs> original uh, Linux release running on this end. Thanks, Parallel Thanks Lutris. E on Steam. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do we have up next? Oh, podcast. That's what you're talking about. Right, yeah, so, uh, gaming podcasts uh, and uh, Muhammad A asks hi 
Do you know of any ongoing gaming podcasts that feature Linux games? Nope. Other ones nope. are dead, and best Linux games looks de- uh, looks recent, but their page is broken. Yeah, so I had a look at best Linux games. The last update on their website was in April 2018. Oh. This is the internet. Yeah. Two years, or over two years in this case, uh, that, 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 that shit's dead, yo. <laughs> listen, listen, if you want Linux gaming news on the internet, you are shit out of luck, my friend. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Doesn't exist. Especially in podcast format. Yeah, where where would you even find that? No, I, no, I no. went looking myself. I had to go creep. I typically don't creep. Um, <laughs> on, it's like, okay, that's this. I was just... I was like, what things that worry you, Vin? This actually worried me a little bit, because I did things like, Linux gaming podcast, us, and, like, two, three years, you, you can see some people tried for, like, 10 episodes mm-hmm. or 11 episodes, and they just fucked off, because you know what? This is a lot of work. Um, yes. A lot of work, not a lot of reward. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you don't feel rewarded, Jordan. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. It shows. Um... So I went looking and after like eight, nine years, I've been doing Linux Gamecast for a full decade, over a decade myself. And um, there's no one else doing it. And that bugs me. That generally does bug me because there needs to be, we've been doing this long enough to where we are by all measures, the old card. Yes. And which is kind of sad. <laughs> There's no, where's version two? You know, we're, we're definitely into that like generational thing of like somebody needs to like come in at some point. We, we, we need, we need better, new, be more entertaining new, than we are. Do something new, yeah. new, new sexy kids talking about them hot Linux games. <laughs> Cause none of us are in our twenties anymore. No, no, that, 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 that ship has sailed. That guy was the last one. And that uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Our old man baby. He, he's getting on. He's getting advanced. I, I, I'm the biggest old man baby, you guys. <laughs> Changed my diaper, damn it. No. I, no. I, I, I went poopy. Fetch me a nipple. No one's doing that because it's always full of bishops. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. All right. <laughs> yeah. If you don't get more fair than that. On that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to piece the fuck out of here. Episode 423 of Linux Gamecast. Uh, Start your own Linux gaming podcast and let us know about it. Keep doing it. It'll be awesome. We'll support you. We'll plug you. Um, If you want to come knock on my door, you can find me at Linux. Wait. Yeah, Linux Gamecast. I'm there too. Hey, it's by side. Uh, At Finstone on Twitter. Or just at Vin at mass.linuxgamecast.com. We got a Twitch page. We got YouTube pages. All that's at linuxgamecast.com. If you want to volunteer to, you know, change my diapers, breastfeed me, coo me, put me to bed, cover my face with a pillow, and, like, wait until the crying stops, you can volunteer at The Burning Fool on Twitter. And if you'd like an idiot to, uh, you know, just bounce shit off of in just bounce. that Linux gaming podcast. No, 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 no. no. I'm, happy. I, I'm content with the bouncing. <laughs> P- podcast. <laughs> yeah, podcast. Uh, uh, you can absolutely hit me up on Twitter as long as you don't record at stupid at night. I will absolutely be glad to uh, join you for some Linux shenanigans. That's at, at accounted for. F-O-U-R. So, yeah. Sometimes the force like upside down looks a little diseased and it's fucked the up. The T that's usually upside down. <laughs> I can't keep track. Um, <laughs> is it is it for time to leave? No, it's time for credits. Ah. Got it the wrong size. Ah. So- <laughs> <laughs> wrong thing. Professionals. Ten, ten, ten years of Linux gaming podcasting. <laughs> To be fair, uh, OBS that. only released on Linux a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, saw that. So, we, yeah. I was doing this long before OBS showed up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got to thank our fair and empty, empty Atomic, Atomic Mike, Mike, Mike G, Barbara Ramp, Alias, Mac, Mac Geek, Scott, Scoot, Frosty, Frosty, Capno, Capno, Foxy, and, and the only Tiki. We also got our regular producers like Dave S, Smashly G, Michael, Egal, Jolly, Topical Guy, S, Machi, Max, Yabo, Sony Fish, Chris, Jitche, Alan, Brad S, Massavoni. Dan W, Master Linux Dark, Noob, 
Brown. Joe Angel, Ivandro. <laughs> massive Odi is there Truggy. again. So. Yeah. Gonzo, oh. 2000. <laughs> Brock, <laughs> Ranger. Abstraction, OX4D, Kama. Michelle. Oh. And then Moog. <laughs> Belric. Kristoff. PowerShellAnalytics.com. Library.tv. At Mixon's Pyramid. Just in case you couldn't read. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Maybe you were listening and you couldn't read while you were listening because they don't. Don't read and listen at the same time, kids. It's dangerous. Oh, God! I just I tried to oh do God, that, and I shit my I pants. Been doing all my also, life. tune in next week for a new show, <laughs> Get to the PewDiePie. Is that a threat? Five dudes. <laughs>